What's up guys and welcome back to the Concrete Edge right here on Deco Creek TV. My name's Jeff and today we're going to have another Concrete 101 episode for you and we're going to go over different ways to place and screed concrete so stay tuned and you're going to learn all about it. So when it comes to pouring concrete, I mean, man, one of the most critical steps is screeding. Now, you may have heard this referred to as straight edging, or some people call it rotting, but no matter what the term, I'm telling you, you can form your slab up perfectly, have that grade exactly where you want it, but if it doesn't get screeded off right, man, all that work is for nothing. Now, good straight edging is what makes a flat floor flat or creates pitch on an exterior slab so the water drains off right. Now, there is nothing worse than a low spot that holds water or a big dip or hump in what was supposed to be a flat floor. So before we even get into screeding, we're going to need to place the concrete right just so that it makes it possible for that screed to even do its job. And the most common way of doing this is with a come along or what I would call a rake. And some tool manufacturers are going to call these concrete placers, but whatever you might refer to them as, the point is this is just a great tool to spread the concrete around and get it close. Now, I know that some people like to use flat shovels for this, and uh, now I've never done that, but just let us know in the comments if you guys prefer flat shovels over rakes. And it doesn't matter what kind of screed you're using, you're gonna need good rakers. Now, when it comes to the screeds, you got a few different options here, and the first one is hand screeding, and this is how I learned to pour concrete, and it's still the most common method out there. Now, this could be done with just a 2x4 that's nice and straight, or you can buy screeds from pretty much any concrete tool manufacturer. Now, I love this one here from Easy Screed. It's got this awesome level built into it, and you can even use it just to set forms. Now, whatever the brand you buy, it's, most of them are probably going to be made out of aluminum, which is just going to leave the concrete a lot smoother than wood. Now, you can get straight edges in a variety of different lengths to fit any situation, and on most jobs, you're probably going to end up using a few different ones. Now, personally, one of my biggest pet peeves is having the ends of that straight edge hang out over the forms, so I prefer one that's about a foot or two shorter than the area that I'm trying to screed off. Now what you see here is one man screeding and that's pretty much all that I know. Now there is the option for two man in it which is really popular on bigger crews. Uh, two man screeds are usually a lot longer than the one man options. I mean really a 10 foot straight edge is about all you're going to be able to pull by yourself. But you get a guy on each end and you can pull back 20 feet at a time. Now hand screeding is a lot of work and it takes quite a bit of practice to get good at. Now, there are a few YouTube videos out there with some really helpful tips, so just make sure you watch those first, but getting in the mud and trying it is really the only way to learn this. And also, let us know in the comments if you want us to make a full tutorial video on hand screening. Now, as the jobs get bigger, or if you need to pour a slab of concrete and you just really don't have enough experience with a hand screening, then the next option is gonna be viber screeds. Now, these require a lot less physical work because now you have something on it with a motor that's gonna do most of the work for you. It's basically just this big bar that attaches to this handle here and as the motor and then the motor vibrates the bar and it just levels the concrete out. Now there are quite a few different manufacturers out there that make Viber screeds so you have plenty of options to choose from if you're looking to buy one. Most of them are going to be gas powered but this one here is the Screed Demon from MBW and I'm going to be honest here, the first time that I heard about a battery powered Viber screed I was pretty skeptical. After seeing it used though, I gotta say that I was wrong about that and this thing works really well. Now, I don't personally have much experience with Viber Screeds, but most of the contractors I talk to, I mean, they say that they really love them and it would be hard to go back to straight edge by hand. Viber Screeds have their limitations, however. I mean, if you're pouring a slab that's got a lot of slope on it, that all that vibration, it just tends to make the concrete flow more and it's just gonna be hard to hold that slope. I mean, sometimes the only way to get it right is the old fashioned way. So we're gonna finish things up here with laser screeds. Arm the laser. Now, <laughs> this isn't just some big laser that slices off the top of the concrete. Believe me, I wish it was. That'd be a lot cooler for this video. But it's really more like just this giant blade that extends out over the slab and it just pulls the concrete back. The laser is just what keeps it all at the right height. Now, these are pretty exclusive to large scale jobs and obviously it's gonna be the most expensive way of going about this. But if you do pour enough concrete that you can justify owning a laser screed, man, it is going to save you an unbelievable amount of labor costs. Well, guys, that's pretty much it for today's show. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video, and we really appreciate all the support that you guys show to the channel by tuning in every week and hitting those like and subscribe buttons. 
Please leave us a comment if we missed anything or if you have any questions about placing or screening concrete. If you are already subscribed, don't forget about that bell icon so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos and it really helps our channel out. So from all of us here at Decocrete TV, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.